So, is somebody the captain here, or should we take the rudder? I have got yeah, Okay. Hi, I'm Amelia from TwinMusics.com. I'm going to ask you our signature question. If you could have any band perform one of your songs, which band would it be? Which song would it be? And would it be in your style or their style? I heard the question, but if you could raise it a bit. Wow. A hard question. That's a really tough one, actually. Yeah. Uh, so we should probably pick something unexpected. <laughs> uh, so, Simon and Garfunkel, maybe? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. They, they, they could probably do wonders with any one of our songs. So. That's what I was yeah. thinking, too. So yeah, well, do you have any? No, uh, no idea. <laughs> no, so I mean, okay, it's, it's a hard, really hard question. Oh, yeah. Um, okay, let's just say, let, um, Meshuga doing a Meshuga version of one of our riffs. That would be really interesting to hear what they would do. Yeah. Yeah. Is that a good enough answer? Is it <laughs> probably the, the, the toughest question I've had ever. Yeah. Okay. Hi, my name is Sia, I'm on uh, Metal Mad TV. Sorry. Hi. <laughs> I have a million questions, of course. But uh, I would love to talk a little more about um, Years in a Day, this amazing uh, work that you've done. Uh, so, uh, do you hear me? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, thank, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Uh, so, you guys, after releasing this um, uh, DVD, uh, so, you gave uh, some of, I don't know how to say that in English, uh, you gave some things to Médecins Sans Frontières. Like uh, I don't think that like Médecins Sans Frontières. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, yeah. that was amazing. I mean, uh, uh, we cannot hear that, you know, everywhere. Every band um, has, of course, his... Um, uh, its own uh, sensitivity. Huh? Uh, so, how? Wow! I mean, that's well, amazing, guys. Is it? Work with the uh, Médecins Sans Frontières. Yeah, of I mean, uh, I just had my birthday uh, a couple of weeks ago, and, and you know, Facebook had has this new thing where you can, where you can ask people to donate money, and, and that's the organization that, that I chose in that, yeah, in that kind of situation. Too. I mean, any, any money that you could, that you could, could uh, collect to, to them is, is money well spent. I mean, for me, that's an organization that it's, it's secular and uh, a humanist organization that works all, all around the world. And they do a lot of great work, for example, in Yemen. That was not an issue when we released that DVD, but it, it is now. And that's a definitely one of the you know, most important organizations. Well, they're doing a lot of important work all around the globe, and they deserve all the support they, that they can get. So, any little thing that we can do to help, I mean, yeah. yeah. Hi there, guys. Uh, Joseph from Loud TV over here. Uh, with your recent signing to Metal Blade, what are you guys hoping to see different or change from what you had before? Well, fortunate enough, we try to stay away from everything but writing and performing music. And I mean, apart from, from Melbit being an organization that has been around for decades, um, I mean, hopefully we will notice it as little as possible when it comes to what we do, because we are in a, for, in a fortunate position to have other people taking care of that boring stuff. Um, but for me personally, I mean, it, it's it, it's really an honor to to uh, to be on that label. I remember when I first picked up Lizzie Borden, the album Menace to Society from 1986, and I saw this uh, uh, Metal Blade logo with the I think it was, was the Razor Blade, and I thought it was the coo yeah the, the coolest like logo I ever seen. And uh, although we used the Axe logo, the old Axe logo, it's yeah, it, it still made a huge impression on me. And uh, yeah, it's just an honor to be to be under that their label right now. Yeah. 
Test. Yep, it's working. I, I, I can hear you. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hello. Um, yeah, I guess um, like critically, you're regarded as like one of the granddaddies of like atmospheric sludge and post metal, along with like neurosis. Um, so, do you feel like that sort of sound is having like a resurgence nowadays? Like nowadays, and how do you feel like newer bands doing this style compares to like how it was in the back in the day, and how have things changed for you? For me, it's a bit hard because I think for me, I actually don't listen that much to this scene. So for me, Catalunya has always been like make make music, not think too much about style or if we're into post metal or post rock, whatever it is. Just always about making making good music. It's really big in Britain right now. Yeah, I, I, I'm I'm not really aware of where the winds are going right now. All all I do remember is that. Was some kind of an influx of, of bands in like late, what do you say, te- late zero? Se- well, L- late nineties. No, no, not late late nineties. Late zero zero ish. Well, during that time, there was a lot of bands uh, coming out. Uh, a lot of people obviously discovered the the, the, the delay pedal, and <laughs> and starting playing this kind of stuff. I, I guess it has been on a decline since then, but like I. I me personally, I have no idea. I I, I need people to 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 uh, send me new music because I, yeah. I I don't hear I don't have my ear to the ground in it anymore. Can I chat with you after this? Yes, please. Cool. Yeah, that's give me always a list. been the thing, though, with us. We are such a diverse bunch of people when it yes. comes to listening to music and also performing with other stuff. So that it's really an amalgamation am- of. Uh, of what we are, and it's not really linked to other bands in the same same genre. Intentionally, of course, we will sound like other stuff. Uh, that's not what I'm saying, but it's nothing that we sort of take into consideration when we make this the, our music. Hi, I'm Harrison from TwinMusics.com, and I was wondering if you could tell us about the instruments and the setup you guys have on stage compared to the setup you would have in the studio? Um, I mean, that, that we could go down on details. <laughs> but I mean, the, 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 how the, 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 yeah. do you want to get? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. How, how long do you want this press conference to get? I, I mean, guess so. Uh, I guess we try somehow to like. Of course, we try to. We add some, maybe sometimes some extra elements in the studio. But I think it's always been. We, we don't fan of like using a lot of backtracks and stuff of that like that. So we always try to make make the songs we do in the studio work live too. So not forced to like add extra elements in backtracks and stuff like that. So kind of similar live to, to, than to the studio. Yeah, but I mean. But, there's a lot of stuff, especially when it comes to to the keyboards yeah, on, yeah. on the new record, uh, where we play, or we, Christian play, uh, like organs that you obviously cannot bring no, on no. tour. Not that, yet. Yeah. Or, not yet. <laughs> yeah. Not not yet. Uh, or like uh, things like Leslie's, which are like too, pretty much to yeah, yeah. bring on tour. And, and but also like we when we are recording and working in the studio, we try to be pretty free from boundaries when yeah, it yeah. Ca- comes to what. I mean, if if I, for example, would be, although we are two drummers, so we have four arms, but anyway, we try to maximize whatever we need to so that the song is sounding the way we want it to. And then we have to deal with it when we play it live and try to make a, a live version of it. But when we're in the studio, we, we do whatever we want just to make the songs as good as they can be. But we could go into details, though. Yes. Yeah, but we, can, we can do that after too. <laughs> but, but yeah, but in general, everything is able to be able to reproduce live. Okay, thank you. Um, okay, uh, Siam again. Uh, as an artist, uh, at which level do you feel concerned by the envir- environmental uh, cause, climate change? Do you feel concerned, of course, by the climate change? Oh yeah. Sorry. Oh yes. Yeah. yes. I, I was I was actually thinking about it walking up here. Uh, I, I know that uh, the ocean they 
they had some post. I, I didn't really understand what ha what happened there, but they had a post on Facebook where their new video that that kind of uh, I think the topic is climate change or whatever, and Facebook kind of posted it as, or, or, or labeled it as a political. And I was actually thinking of it walking up here that like political. You have different political uh, opinions, but that's opinions. When it comes to climate change, that's not an opinion. That, that's that, that's fact, and that should not be uh, labeled as political because that, like, yeah, we have a a, a, a very uh, small amount of dumbasses that don't believe it, but we also have people that believe that the Earth is flat. Um, so, I mean, it, it's not a political opinion. It's a fact and something that we need to deal with. Uh, we're gonna deal with it, either by paying the consequences or taking the consequences or doing something about it. Yeah, but as a band though, I must say, we are, this is something that we have to deal with. I mean, we fly a lot. I mean, that's, that's something that we do. Um, we just have to... So un yeah. unless we can find an, an environmental friendly way for yeah. all Hellfest to come to Umeå, <laughs> it's still better that we come here, I guess. But yeah. it's, it's, it's an issue for sure something that constantly feel guilty about in a way you know yeah sorry I can it's too, it's too loud hi there I'm James I write for Astronoise uh, UK I was just wondering you've got a uh, long atmospheric sections obviously which lends itself to the sort of genre you guys have ended up with um, do you find that lends itself more to playing indoor gigs or is it better with outdoors with relay towers and stuff which do you which do you prefer as a band playing sort of indoor smaller shows or the big festival to lend itself to your music big indoor shows oh, fair <laughs> well like a tent then <laughs> okay yeah, oh, fair I'm, enough. Kidding. I'm kidding yeah. and also um, how much do you sort of have to change your setup to sort of go from indoor to large outdoor festivals I guess for us on stage it's not that much to change for us in the band but I think for uh, our light technician Alexis he needs to yeah. change a lot because I guess he he prefers when we play for example indoors when it's dark so we can because the live show is depends a lot on the light so yeah I mean the the it has its pros and cons F festivals are, are fun in many aspects but um, you have limited amount of time of setting up the sound and it's very stressful just getting everything up getting everything up to speed um, and when you, we do our own shows we have hours and hours and hours to sound check and do all the lights and all that um, so it has you know I don't prefer one over the other it's just different yeah Uh, hello, uh, Antoine from uh, Metallurgy.com. Uh, I wanted to know uh, when did you start writing this new album, and how long did it take you to, from a uh, first note to the, the mastering, etc. I mean, it it, it 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 all depends how you how you how you count. Because I could tell you when I wrote the first riff, but that doesn't mean that that doesn't really count. I think we uh, we recorded it last November, and I would say we first time we got together and tried out new ideas would probably like what, a year, a couple of a couple of months before that, right? Like the, yeah, I think the, so. yeah, the, the fall of 2017, but. With me personally, when it comes to writing, I, I write constantly and maybe throw away 95, 90% of it. So it's hard to say when things really start. Um, but when it comes to, to both lyrics and music, I had the, the only idea that I had was that I wanted to write spontaneous without any, I, like, no concept, nothing, no ideas, just sit down with my guitar and then see what comes out of it. Um, and yeah, that happened con happens constantly. 
but a, like a concrete answer is, is the fall of 2017. Hi, can you hear me? Here. Yeah. Oh, there you are. Well, should I stand? Yeah, it's okay, like this. Yeah. Um, do I have qu do I have time for two questions? Or? Okay, I'm from Krupskaya. I'm from Bolivia, from South America. Oh. And yes, you have a lot of fans there. And I have also a website there, and we all are very huge fans from Cult of Luna. Thank and, you. And um, I saw you also, I live around here, so I've seen you a couple of times in small clubs and also in big, big festivals. But I think this is your second time at Head Hills, if I'm not if I'm correct, did you play before here, 2013? Or I, th oh, I'm, I'm not gonna give you an answer because I, I might be wrong. I think we played yeah. twice. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 exactly. And Hellfest is also growing every year, bigger and bigger. So, um, what are you expecting for today's show in comparing to the last time or to other festivals? Or what do you think it will be the difference? And if you have the time, which band would you like to see also live? If, <laughs> because you're backstage, so you have the, the chance. No. Oh, yeah, I mean, uh, Hellfest, I mean, there's, there's a lot of big festivals uh, all over yes. Europe, but Hellfest is bit different. I don't know why, but they are for some reason they they, they, they book the best bands. I remember the last time we played, um, I ran off stage to be able to catch a couple of songs of Morbid Angel playing uh, 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 just the stage next to us. Um, and like Hellfest is more of a concept now. It, it's as much a, a concept as a festival. And I ra rarely get nervous anymore, but for some reason, like Hellfest is a bit more special. And the la yeah, the last time was also like, quite. We were quite nervous then because we had hadn't practiced much and all that. But it, and 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 they record everything. It's it's horrible. <laughs> it, it, that, that kind of. So I I, I guess. And also, I mean, we play a couple of new songs now, which also adds some more like nerve to it, which is really great, though. Are you expecting to play old songs, or it's it's a surprise? No, 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 no. Okay. Not, not, not at all. Uh, when it when it when it comes to what bands I want to see, yeah, just just look at our our stage, every band. Yeah. Yeah, and then the and the ballet is the best. Yeah, yeah, it's the best <sighs> stage. I cannot. Yeah, yeah. I'm really glad uh, that we play because, or else I had to go here <laughs> and just watch it from the crowd. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, I th I hope you can um, tour in South America. You can go by ship. Maybe it will take a bit, but uh, it's like friendly and not that to the climate change. And my second question is. Are you planning to make another new collaboration, like with Julia Christmas? I really, really like the album with her, and I'm also a fan of the mixes with God Seed and so on. So I, besides your excellent work, I, I was uh, wondering if you are thinking about doing a new collaboration in the future, maybe not? Uh, I guess that comes down to time <laughs> for us. I mean. We, we really enjoyed it and it was a, a fun and sort of unexpected process for us in, in different ways because it really panned out uh, during uh, writing and stuff. We didn't really have any ideas <laughs> of, and we hadn't been working with her before and stuff. So, But it, it really was super fun and something we could uh, for sure do again. And, and now we've been touring together and it would be a different process. But yeah, as of now, it, it, I don't know, we have too much to do. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I have also another question, please, for um, also about years in a day, <laughs> filmed um, Paris. Uh, how was the experience for you, uh, knowing what happened to Paris, you know, with uh, how was uh, how did you feel after filming uh, years in, uh, in a day 
being uh, in Paris was difficult oh, yeah, for yeah, you? Yeah. I mean, uh, with the backdrop of the Bataclan massacre, is me. Look, there's, there, there's no band. Well, there's no person that wasn't affected by that. But playing in a band on, well, in, in pretty much the same level, you, of course, you think about it, but there's nothing you can do about it. I mean, the, the, and, and hence, there's, uh, there's no. There's nothing productive of letting it getting into your head. Yeah, so I, I would lie if I told you that I haven't thought about it. And sometimes, you're, I mean, you're very, on the stage, it, I mean, you could be target to anything. But I mean, yeah, I, I, I just, actually, before that show, I went to, to Bataclan because I wanted to see the place for myself. And it was, yeah, it was very moving and, and all that, but yeah. Again. <laughs> okay, take one last question. Third row. Hi, I'm Julien from Radio Metal. I wanted to ask you guys um, what has been your approach uh, in terms of sound for the new album, uh, as your song, The Silent Man, uh, seems to have a closer sound um, with your early albums like. Um, like Eternal Kingdom or um, somewhere along the highway, what was your approach in terms of sound? I think we thought quite early that we wanted to make something that sounded a bit more raw and like organic than the previous album. So, and I think also Magnus, who did the, the mixing, wanted to like focus on making it sound really heavy and, and really punchy, especially the drums put a lot of effort into that on this album. Or else I don't know. And I mean, the sound is also so much a, pr a product of the place, the environment you're at. And we had the great pleasure of, of recording this in an amazing studio in Norway. And, and almost especially when it comes to drums, like if you if you don't have a good room, it's going to be hard uh, unless you want to spend hours and hours and days of replacing stuff, which we don't. So it's. So that was a huge benefit in terms of sound, that we found this great room and they had a great mic park and, and it was just a pleasure working there. So. All right, thank you very much. Merci. Thank you. Thank you.